We'll get to those stories in a minute, but first, police say he was angry and wanted revenge when he walked into the wrong house and killed a man. 45-year-old Alton Bear is charged with several counts of murder, attempted murder, burglary, and assault. He is in the Minnehaha County Jail tonight, being held on a half million dollars cash-only bond. Investigators say Bear went into a house at the corner of Second and Prairie looking for a man he was mad at. Police say it turned out to be the wrong house. When 40-year-old Tracy Sabo confronted Bear for coming into his home, police say Bear shot him in the head, killing him. Police believe Bear left Sabo's home and headed to the first in Prairie, where he allegedly shot the 30-year-old man who he was originally looking for, along with two other women. They are all expected to survive. Today in court, we learned Bear was on parole and authorities were looking for him just a day before the shooting. Kettleland's Dan Centella has been digging into his background. It turns out Bear has been in and out of jail and prison for most of his adult life. 45-year-old Alton Ray Bear has a long criminal history. A look through his 28-page background check reveals he pleaded guilty to 19 offenses from 1994 to 2019. These include possession of a controlled substance, simple assault, aggravated assault, driving under the influence, attempting to elude police, forgery, and reckless driving. He was also convicted in 2002 of simple assault. Alton is also an uh, individual who is on parole uh, for pre pre uh, previous assaultive behavior, uh, and parole did put an attempt to locate out for him on June 28th. Caldwell says that doesn't make Bear an absconder, but the suspect was still someone investigators were looking for. So technically, I don't believe they would classify him as an absconder because they didn't obtain a warrant for him as such, uh, but they did enter him as uh, someone who they were attempting to locate and speak with. In Sioux Falls, Dan Centella, Kelland News. Coming up tonight on Kelland News at 10, you'll hear from someone who knew Tracy Sabo, the man killed in that shooting.